Howdy. <clears throat> I got a new no I got a new Nautilus to show you here. And it goes. It goes like this. Still got new strings on it. Eh? Stretch things out here. This Nautilus is... This Nautilus is made with um, European spruce of... I'm not sure what region it came from because I bought it as part of a lot of wood and um, it wasn't... The region wasn't specified. All the... All the Spruces that are sold as European spruce are the same species, but they are dependent. Their names and marketing is dependent on the region they came from. Um, I think this is Carpathian, um, but I don't know. Uh, it just it just looks like a lot of the Carpathian wood that I've used so much, and um, it's beautiful, even grained. It felt like it. It just behaved like it. So <clears throat> I'm calling it European um, spruce, and it's. It's, it's amongst my favorite woods to work with. Um, and the back and sides are East Indian rosewood. Nice, like old growth stuff. You know, it's not the gray green, great greasy gray green um, stuff you, you see on, on budget instruments. This is like a top notch tone wood. And I, one thing I love about East Indian rosewood is its stability and um, it's, uh, resistance to cracking it has an interlocking grain um which especially when it's quarter sawn like this it has an interlocking grain which makes it much less prone to cracking um this has really similar qualities in my opinion to brazilian rosewood um it has really nice overtones it has a long decay um and it seems to have lots and lots of power and bottom end um I was in a fit of, of optimism. I bought a hundred sets of, of uh, East Indian rosewood like this uh, directly from India in 2011. And I've sold like six East Indian guitars since then. But um, it's, it's great wood. And I always offer it. I offer it as my, it's my base model wood. Um, and uh, either that or Honduran mahogany, both quarter sawn and high quality. But uh, most people go for like Brazilian or something more exotic. Um, I think East Indian is looked down upon unjustly because it's been represented by quickly grown modern like second and third growth stuff that really isn't very charming at all. Um, let's see, the rest of the stuff on here is ebony, the binding, the bridge and the fingerboard and the buttons on the Schertler tuners. So, you know, this is this is sort of my 
my tried and true recipe for a Nautilus. Um, I love this guitar. It's it's nice and lightweight as Nautiluses go, um, and it's going to go off to Sam, its new owner. My second my second Sam in about a year that bought a Nautilus. So um, the Sams they eat this stuff up. Let's see. I'll play something else and then get out of here. There's another one hot off the presses um, and I'm starting a brand new uh, Brazilian and uh, Carpathian Nautilus tomorrow so I'm, I'm getting lots of uh, lots of practice making these babies and I'm I just I think the recipe is good I think I think where they are right now is is the design is pretty mature and I'm not looking to to change it a whole lot so I hope you enjoy enjoy what you heard um, and I'll be back in a while. Thank you very much. And thank you, Sam. <laughs>